I just got the Flipper Zero video game module and as a hacker who loves video games, you know I had to go out and get this and see what it was all about. So in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and then I'm going to start discovering what this thing's all about and I'm going to take you along the journey with me. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my final verdict and conclusions on whether this is worth purchasing or not. So stick around to the end to find out. Hello, my name is Kyle Clark. I have almost seven years experience in cybersecurity and I currently work as a full-time penetration tester, also known as an ethical hacker. And I'm here to help you grow your hacking and cybersecurity knowledge. Also, I've been a gamer my entire life and I have way more experience playing video games than I do in cybersecurity. So this is a mix of both of my loves, video games and hacking. So I can't wait to dive into this video. So here we have the box. So on the front, we have the video game module powered by Raspberry Pi. On the side, pretty much the same information. It says control games and, and air mouse connect to TV and more. Over here we got some the serial number, some more information. And right here it says the features, connect to a TV, gyro control, GPIO breakout, and a RP2040 microcontroller. Honestly, I don't know what RP2040 is. So if you don't know what that is, don't feel bad because I don't know either. And then over here we got designed for flipper devices. This isn't a aftermarket or a third party item. This is an official item that you can get from the official Flipper Zero store. So that's outside of the box. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So let's go ahead and make a cut here. And I think that's all I need to do. One little cut. Let's go ahead and flip this open. We got the Flipper Zero socials here and let's go ahead and open this up so install the module flipper without a case flipper with a case keep silicone bumper remove silicone bumper okay so i'm assuming there's a silicone bumper inside of here so this is a manual we're gonna get in we're gonna open this up in a second there's a couple pages here but here's the actual device and right there's a silicone bumper that they're talking about. So this looks like it removes somehow. It's not easy to remove, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe if I use my pocket knife to pry it out maybe. There we go. So this silicone bumper removes. And as the instructions say, if you have a case for your Flipper Zero, then you would take this off. If you don't have a case, then you would keep it on. In my case, no pun intended, I don't have a case. So I'm going to leave the silicone bumper on as the instructors say. And I actually already bent a prong. Oh, that's really nice. So let me just bend that back, I suppose. So if that happens to you, probably not the biggest deal in the world, as long as you can bend it back, as long as it doesn't break off, probably okay. All right, so you can see here, yeah, we got Flipper Zero video game module powered by Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this off. I don't need that. All right, so that's the device itself. We're gonna set this aside for a sec. We're gonna go through the manual. So it tells us this is a safety and user guide. Honestly, let's see what it says here. So, we already went through this first one. So, install the module, update Flipper Zero firmware, connect to a TV, configure and update via the app. Let's go ahead and uh, install it on the Flipper Zero. So, here's my Flipper Zero, and we're just going to plug it in like so so that goes right there and this light just turned on and you see we have an HDMI output let's go ahead and uh, start updating the firmware and, and getting everything installed all right so I got the flipper zero updating via the flipper zero application this is removing the custom firmware that I had on it. I'm not entirely sure if you can get the video game module to work with custom firmware. I'm sure you can, 
but honestly I don't want to fuss with it and I just want to install the regular firmware the official firmware just so I can get rolling with the video game module ASAP all right so I got the firmware updated to the official firmware the latest version of the official firmware uh, this right here is just a charger so my flipper zero doesn't die but this right here is the HDMI cable that would plug into your TV and we're actually going to switch over to the TV right now. If you're getting value of this video so far, do me a favor and like this video and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. So here we are on the TV and by TV, I mean computer monitor. So I got this plugged into my computer monitor and I actually have it running through a capture card that I had laying around from my old video game Twitch streaming days. So bonus points if you know my gamer tag or if you find my old twitch channel and fun fact of the day is my old gaming twitch channel actually has more followers than my current cybersecurity twitch channel so uh yeah i used to stream a lot of video games back in the day and if you're from the old video game streams leave a comment anyways here we are on the flipper zero so this is just recording the flipper zero screen and you can see this is pretty standard stuff if you've used the flipper zero before then you should be familiar with all this stuff and so nothing special here and if you are new to flipper zero then i highly recommend you checking out my other flipper zero videos but before we can dive into the games we actually need to do another step we actually need to go back to the application and we need to install the view game module plugin via the application so i can't record that because i don't have a capture card to record my phone so let me go ahead and install that real quick and i'll be right back Okay, so I installed the video game module app through the Flipper Zero mobile app, and then I get this. So it's saying it's not initialized, and it said it was initialized when I plugged it in. So maybe if I unplug it and plug it back in, it might be initialized. Let's see what happens here. So I'll plug this back in. Still saying not initialized. So it's um, so I'm actually getting something different on my Flipper Zero screen than what you guys are seeing. So it says install official firmware, install firmware from a file. So I'm going to install the official firmware. We're going to click that and click install. And we'll see what happens here. Basically, it just says installing. It's got me out. It's got a progress bar. And it's going pretty fast. So this isn't going to take too long, it doesn't seem like. All right. I don't know if you guys heard the noise on my microphone, but it just said the video game module is updated. So I'm going to click OK. And it looks like we're still getting the same thing. Oh, here we go. Video game module initialized. So I hit back and now it's saying it's initialized. So I hit OK. Okay, so it seems like that is just a way to update the video game module itself. That's not a way to get into the game. So let's go ahead and install a game here. And once again, I'm doing this from the official app store from my mobile phone. I'm going to just go ahead and go to games and see what we have. All right. So I just installed space impact. This is the first game that was on there. So let's go ahead and hit new game. And I guess I can just, there's no sound. You guys don't hear any sound. There's no sound coming out of the flipper here zero either the actual device i got hit i am uh never was a pro gamer i did reach the semi pro level at one point but <laughs> this is not something i normally play i guess what i'm curious on is does this game work without the view game module plugged in and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and purposely die here oh that's a boss we got a boss I'm not gonna purposely die we can't purposely die on the boss that's weak sauce oh okay well I actually died there that wasn't on purpose uh, let's go ahead back so I want to know if I can play this without it being plugged in flipper zero crash and rebooted okay that's uh, great and to prove to you that this does work without the video game module, so we're going to go to games, and you see here we've got Space Impact 2. We're going to click OK on that, and here we go. This is the same game, so we're just going to hit New Game here, and this is the same thing, just not on a bigger screen. And 
I'm kind of being weird about it because I think what makes this really hard is because like if you play with one hand you can't shoot and move at the same time in order to shoot and move at the same time you'd have to do something like this like hold the flipper zero really weird it just um it's not very intuitive right this isn't a very good way to play games in my opinion um right because we're used to playing with like two joysticks down here or like a mouse and keyboard and like i said like if you hold it like this, you have to you can't shoot and move at the same time unless you do something like like oh, I'm doing here, like use my finger like this. Either way, it's a little bit awkward. So this is a pretty cool little app. It's in the game section, but it's just like a dice. Well, oh, there's a coin, so you can actually flip a coin as well. Um, which is uh, pretty cool. This is a pretty cool app if you you never have to carry around dice if you play D&D and if you need a coin flip you got one right here we got a D4 we can hit okay. Fun fact of the day I've actually never played I have never played D&D so we got a D6 here so we can say we want to roll three D6s I think is that what that means? three one and three and we got a d8 we got a d10 d12 d20 and a d100 we can roll 10 d20s so there is the results of that for a total of 118 and we can roll a d100 all right so here we have chess white to move so i'm white all right so we'll uh Move there. Oh, I thought I hit the pawn. There we go. This is really annoying to look at. Honestly, this is not fun. <laughs> so, I guess what I was hoping for was like the video game module would be able to run more advanced games, but it doesn't do that. It just runs the same games, it just puts it on a bigger screen that's all it does and if you head over to the flipper zero store you can see all the games that you have available to you in conclusion the flipper zero video game module in my opinion is a little bit of a waste of money because i thought i was going to give my flipper zero some enhanced capabilities i don't see any more like enhanced games that i can get that is exclusive for the flipper game game module and it, I could be wrong on that. Some of those games that I listed out might only work with the video game module. But just looking at the the overviews of the games, I was reading through them. And all of them look pretty similar. They're, you know, they got the 8-bit graphics and all this. So it doesn't look like it, like it can run extra things. It looks like it just runs the same things. It just puts it on a screen, a TV or a computer monitor, right? Plugging it in. And... To me, that's a little bit of disappointment because I figured, like, well, I figured it would give it a little bit more horsepower. Maybe it does, but it just doesn't feel like it's changing the Flipper Zero at all. It's just putting it on a bigger screen is all it's doing. So if you have a use case, you're like, oh, man, I wish I could put this Flipper Zero, whatever I got going on my Flipper Zero on a big screen, then the Flipper, Flipper Zero video game module is for you. But if that's not something you want to do if you're just hoping to get some extra horsepower out of it or run more advanced games then you're going to be disappointed and honestly i've only been playing around with it for a little bit and i'm already over it. i'm already over it like i'm not i'm not interested in using this device anymore honestly like once i'm done with this recording i'm just gonna go play my real playstation 5 and play diablo 4. so if you want to play video games Go get a PlayStation, go get a game PC, go get a game console, something, Xbox. I don't think this is it. If you want to play video games, this is not it. Uh, the, the video games that you can get on your phone are way better than, than what you can get with this uh, Flipper, Flipper Zero game module. So, once again, if, you're, if, you're, if you want to buy this, if you're looking to buy this to play games on your Flipper, um, honestly, I think it's a waste of money. Because like I said, you can get better more advanced games on your phone for free and the flipper zero game module in my opinion is only good for if you want to put what you see on your flipper zero on a big screen and honestly i don't see too many reasons to do that maybe if you're doing like some kind of like security testing project or some hacking project 
and you want to record it. So this might come in handy in the future for me if I'm going to do more Flipper Zero content. I can record some of the hacks in a full screen type of way, right? Because if, if you watch my old Flipper Zero videos, then you'll, you'll notice that it's just this wee little screen. So with this, I can actually capture my screen and I can show you guys what's going on in the Flipper Zero a lot easier. So for me, there's kind of a use case in that sense. I can show you guys like some hacks, but for gaming, it ain't it, in my opinion, it ain't it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is the Flipper Zero game module worth it? Have you got it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Or have I changed your mind about it? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about how to use your Flipper Zero or you just don't wanna get started with hacking with Flipper Zero, then you have to check out this video right here where I teach you nine, not one, not two, but nine different hacks that you can do with your Flipper Zero. Click watch now and I'll see you there.